My uh, roommate from college, he came, I was living on 6th Street, and uh, he came to tell me that he had, we used to go to Ram Krishna, all these yoga places together, and um, he said, oh, I just went to a very, a Swami, but very unusual. They were the singing and dancing. We were into meditation, singing and dancing. And, uh, and he said, yeah, and he has a big tape recorder. <laughs> it was a tape recorder, you know. Because we weren't, we, we refused to wear a wristwatch. Because we didn't want to know what time it was. <laughs> so, uh, it was mundane time. So, um, so, but he said, Allen Ginsberg was there. So he was our hero. So I said, oh, I have to go. So then I came here. I walked over and I came here and um, sat right back there at the door. And I remember Prabhupada coming in. The door opened and Prabhupada came in. And as he came in, he was to get up on the platform. But instead, he just stopped and he turned and he looked right, right at me. And I'll never forget that it's like burnt into my memory that all right, Dainanda is saying hello. Okay. <laughs> so uh, anyway, Prabhupada once asked me, he said, how did you join? So uh, I told Prabhupada the story. This is a very important question. How did you join? I mean, even Prabhupada was interested to know how we joined. <laughs> he asked me once, this is many years later, he said, how did you join? <laughs> Maybe it was just you. <laughs> no, no. I... So, so I told him, my friend, no, no, well, no. Yeah, I guess so. He said, I told him that my friend told me about you, you know, and I came, and, but he didn't join. And Prabhupada said, oh, same with me. <laughs> and then he told the story how his friend, I think Narendra Nath Muluk, you know, brought him to Bhakti Siddhanta, but then he did not join. Prabhupada joined. So then Prabhupada, told, you know, told that story. <laughs>